And then I was like, I art thou. Wait, no, is that it? I art thou. How thou did you screw I. that up? I, I panicked. I panicked because then I remember the alternate line. I'm like, what was I actually going to say? I am thou. Thou no, no. art I. Is, is that it? I think that's it. No, the I so art now thou. Because it now it's it's both things. I art thou? I, I art I thou. Thou art I. Because you need it's to play Persona, Persona 5, five Jabroni. It's so good. Uh, it's so I good. told you. I the, told you. The alternate line, uh, though, to open this uh, episode of Downright Fears Gaming was... Uh, is that the podcast and, we're on? And, yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, they're probably going to fight Chris. I have to stay. <laughs> hashtag inside that was, joke that that, fun, that, that was, was uh, so much fun <laughs> hashtag post show okay, content so uh, you know what just whatever we'll we'll share the story we we go out for drinks after every episode and rack em up. at rack them up uh so we are there's a whole group of guys Better that are blocking my, my part okay part. yeah you start right. with yours and then we'll by the way on. this yours is, yours is the payoff yeah okay yes. all right do it so we're all hanging out and there's this guy who's like I'm convinced as mean mugging me and like oh he was he was and, totes my guts. And, and I'm like guys this guy's giving me the evil look and they're like I don't know and da 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 and then like he, I see him pointing at me from across the bar and all this stuff and I'm like I don't know this guy so then like a guy who I kind of know right every they're all drunk this guy that I kinda super know drunk walks up to me he's like I just want to apologize for my friend he thinks that you said something apparently when I walked past him when I went to the restroom I said get out of the way mf'er uh, which if anyone knows me. I don't do that. I'm very polite. So then, Josh, what? So then, enter Josh. So I hear about this story, and then I go, "Oh, so here's what happened, guys." Um, while I was walking by them, they were blocking the way. So I mumbled under my breath, "F and move," but I didn't like "F and move." I didn't like "F and move," and I didn't say "F and." Yeah. Uh, so I guess when I walked by them, they see him, and you know, clearly we they look thought, exactly the same. I was him. So because all white people look the same. It's true, That's actually. We do. We do. Got me in a fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, but it the thing is, fight, we but... we I stayed later, and Jacob did too, because yeah. we were down to. to I was rumble. I was Fisticuffs. so ready to rock you guys. Face, that was I was like, side. let's go. Was... I haven't been in a fight since eighth grade. The Let me look get on these hands dirty. Face. Like when you you I don't know if you told you this when you were leaving the look on his face he's just like I was standing like, like a proud like a pr- lion. I was ready, dude. I was, so, like, I was so ready. I was so, like, let's go. Like, and he was let's even go. posing like a superhero. He's like, just there was one point where like I saw one guy walk like walk near you. I was like, huh? Ah, ah. Here, here, here we go. How, how over am I? That I can leave a bar and you guys will still be waiting to protect me. We love you. Oh no, it has nothing to do with protecting you. I just wanted to punch somebody. <laughs> so, anyways, this is a video game podcast where sometimes we talk about other stuff because it's also personality driven. Downright fierce. Downright fierce gaming. My name is Josh Sensio. With me is Jacob Alexander Plate the Third. The best there is. The best there was. The best there ever will be. King of hugs. Also that. And Donald Stanton. What's up, jabronis? There it is. Um, we talk about video games every week. Uh, new episodes release every Monday on iTunes, Poppy, and Google Play, and Stitcher. And we have a new regular time slot for our live recordings, which is every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If Jacob's not late. If Jacob's not late. So, I, was, I was late. Like with every episode, we start with... Fierce News! <laughs> Fierce news. Let's uh, honestly, there's really not much to talk about. It's weird how after E3, so fierce. You know, there's there's not that many things to talk about. Uh, the biggest thing, not even 24 hours, not even 24 hours after we recorded our last episode, Nintendo announces the SNES Classic. Of course, of course I mean this, it was inevitable to happen. Both the SNES Classic and the fact that we get news the day after, you know, we record. They were like, they were like, all right, so they're not recording. All right. Go. You know that is my dream that Nintendo would pay attention so close to our podcast that they that they would do something so spiteful. And probably after all the things I've said about Nintendo, all the bad things. Probably. Reggie so. follows me on Twitter. Does no, he, he really? doesn't. No, he does not. No, <laughs> come on, no, no. He way. has right. no idea. All right. Um, Talk about being over, right? So, uh, yeah, SNES Classic Edition. It is coming out. It is confirmed. We are getting it. Uh, it's going to come out September 29th for eighty bucks, seventy nine nine nine, but it's eighty bucks. And I have a list of the games that are going to be on there. Let go. So we got Contra Three: The Alien Wars, pretty cool. Donkey Kong Country, which is weird because they where's two? Where's two and three? I mean, they own three, they own the rights to it. Three, so I why can, not? I can do without. But two. I mean, on. it would. 
I would imagine it would be free to re- release all three. And why not yeah. just pack in a couple more? It can't be a space issue. Right. SNES games take up, like, what? Not even a megabyte? Maybe. Eh, maybe, like, okay. Maybe a, maybe under about, three. Under Super, three. Super Metroid was the first 24 megabyte game. That is a hell of a trivia Damn. there, Mr. Oh, Stanton. That was on the commercial, like mm-hmm. on the original commercial. Oh. Or maybe it was Seriously? 30, 32 meg. I think it was 24, and then, and then I want to say... Super Street Fighter 2 was the first 32 meg game, and then wow. shortly after that, Donkey Kong Country. Really? Yep. Wow. He's our That's facts unbelievable. guy. Yep. Uh, so Who they knew? Also, uh, they're going to come out with uh, Earthbound. That's a game. Yes. Uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't... You've never played Earthbound? I've never played Earthbound. Oh my god. Uh, I know nothing about it. Like, Earthbound. you gotta do a Let's Play of I, it. I know like, you gotta Ness. do a Let's Play of it. It's good. It's good. I know Ness. That's about it. Yeah. Just from Smash, from Smash. Uh, oh Now, Final Fantasy 3, which is actually Final Fantasy 6. Correct. Uh, now is that that is the Final Fantasy that everyone's like, oh, that's the best Final Fantasy. Yes, that okay, is, cool. That is so correct. that's that's what I'm thinking of. Right. Um, F Zero should which, have two on there, but I digress. Which I uh, which I also I uh, for F Zero I did for uh, name the video game recently for my trivia games. Oh, nice. Most a lot of people got that yeah, surprisingly. I would say so. Yeah. I never played it. It was fairly popular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Kirby. Seven, baby. <laughs> all right. Welcome, Paul. That's all I know. Uh, Kirby Superstar. Show me a move. Uh, Kirby's uh, Dream Course. A big one, uh, The Legend oh, of Zelda: yeah. Link to the Past. Yeah, if they didn't have it on there, screw the whole thing. You know? Yeah, uh, that is like what, that and like Mario World are like the two that you like have to have. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. and still very playable too. Along with uh, Mega Man X, that's definitely a very playable game. Oh my god, I could listen to the soundtrack for that game over and over again. Yeah. Uh, then also a secret of mana. That's how you say it, right? Mana. mana. It's like yep. a, I read manga. <laughs> they sh- I wish they were. They had the ability to like give you the multi-tap ability so you can play with three players because wow. because if you have if you guys haven't played it one you need to not. um it's like a a top not top yeah top down um like action rpg very very good um super super awesome sweet check it out uh also we're getting star fox the original star fox which was our game last week that we had issues saying is that part of the series is that whatever oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, that was our video game 20 questions uh, oh, and <laughs> the big news the biggest reason actually maybe the reason why a lot of people are going to buy this as opposed to just you know building one themselves and using emulators and roms star fox 2 so now I, I had to look up some information about this because i didn't really know much about it uh now star fox 2 was canceled shortly before its planned release date and even though it was completely like completed which is a little redundant in words there. Completely uh, completed. Completely completed uh, Nintendo canceled the original release due to impending release of the Nintendo 64. Right. Which we know we then got... Star Fox 64. Exactly. Uh, One of the greatest games of all time. Now, Chris, can you tell us something about, about this? About what? I don't know. I wrote down I wrote down your name because I remember we were we were briefing on the news and you said you wanted to say something. Uh, and I forgot well, what no, it was. I think it's, oh, it was that you have to play Star Fox. Right. So I, tell like, us about that. Yeah. So like the, there was original in the, like the original press release, something like Nintendo said you have to be able to play like you have to play Star Fox One before you play Star Fox Two like on the system. Like, so like right. it doesn't unlo- it, it's, it's locked. locked it, but That's right. then, crazy. But then Kotaku clarified that it's just the first level. You have to beat the first level. You, then, you have to beat Canaria. Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah. Uh, now, some people have played Star Fox 2. Uh, it, various it, Japanese prototype at ROMs were leaked online, uh, but they were never polished and extremely buggy. Now, uh, Jacob, I do remember why I put your name here. You said you played. The I original. have played Star Fox 2. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is, is I'm glad people are really excited. The funny thing is, uh, the first one's a better game. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, really, oh no! Yeah, it's, it's a better game. Not even because it's, of the bugs. It's it well because like it. It wasn't, if memory serves, it really wasn't buggy. It just was like, you could tell it's not, it wasn't polished. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, they, they, they weren't done. I mean, I think it was like, I want to say it was about 94% is what they were saying. It was really cool. I was, I was, I was on Reddit a couple of days ago, right after this announcement, and uh, apparently the, the crew that worked on Star Fox 2 all got together and like went out and had a beer and like celebrated, which yeah, I thought was cool. really, really cool. Um, nice. Japan, am I right? Yeah. Uh, so... Um, I'm really excited to play it again because I haven't played it in God. Um, since I was in high school, so it's been forever. Um, it's good, not great, but I'm excited. I'm excited to give it another it's another good. Go. It's a good little like bonus. Yeah, incentive. right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so Mega Man X, I already said. Uh, I don't know why that's in there again. Uh, Street Fighter we're Two. So excited. <laughs> Street Fighter Two Turbo Hyper Fighting, mm-hmm. which I've never. Is that different from the arcade version? I would assume it's a little faster. Is like, like yes, yeah. Hyper fighting in the arcade. Yeah. 
I don't think so. Well, I think it was re-released. It was championship. It was championship, championship edition and initially. And then they did hyper. Hyper. Did yeah. Championship yeah. edition. That that was the yeah. Like play. the actual yeah. like fighting is sped up. It's just sped up. Yeah, it's just sped oh, up. Because like to the point where like I remember I was playing the original Street Fighter two when I was in um, Dallas for WrestleMania last year, and I forgot like how friggin' slow it was. Yeah. So. Um. Also, Super Castlevania 4. Oh, can't wait. Hell yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, Super Mario Kart, another classic. Very excited Those battle that. stages, those balloons, man. This can't one, wait. This one I always... This is what... I, I envied people who had a Super Nintendo when I had my Genesis mm. uh, for this game. Super Mario RPG, oh, Legend God, of the Seven so Stars. I wanted to play it so bad. It is couldn't. unbelievable how good that game is. Yeah. Wow. Nintendo and Squaresoft. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, then we got Super Mario World, mm-hmm. another fantastic game. Super Metroid, God. another game I never played. What? I know, but I'm going to get that uh, DS version of the second one, which is better than the first one, right? That's what I hear? The DS version of the second one? Yeah. Oh, uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Yes. Yep. Yes. It's it's super polished. That is an absolute great re-release. That yep. is so good. Um, and then we Metroid will- Fusion is great, is great, too, on its own. And then we've also got uh, Super Punch Out. Never played that one either. It was a good. It's one. it's super fun. I played yeah. play that. It's awesome. One. It's you, 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 how does you it definitely compare, miss Mike how does Tyson? It compare but for like it, it what is it? Really it feels pretty. It feels really really different, yeah. but mm-hmm. not a bad way. It's like your like Little Mac is basically like a green like um, what's it called like a like a frame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like it's not like a guy. Right. Oh, okay. Like, like a wire frame. Of oh. Like Do they have an arcade version of that? No idea. I feel like they did. I feel like they did. Yes, they did. And they and they had two little sticks that you held onto with little protectors that look like gloves. Right. And you would sit there and you would do that at the car. I have, okay, no I idea. have played that. No, really? no, yeah. It's a green. Yeah, a green outline. I, I remember that. That's punch out. But yeah, uh, that's. I, I'm pretty sure. I'll, that, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can correct us. Absolutely. Tell Josh he's wrong. Even if he's right, tell him he's wrong. Yeah. Um, and then Yoshi's Island, which eh. you know, all right. I like Yoshi. Uh, now, a couple other things. They have confirmed that the length of the controller cord will be two feet longer than the NES Classic controller. Now, Chris, you have Congratulations. the NES Classic. Uh, <laughs> I do, I was that well. really an issue? Yes. A hundred percent. Is two feet going to really... You I think? Mean, you're you're, you're going to end up getting the extensions anyway. Um, I mean, when my boys play, like the two feet's not an issue for them. But like... Because well, they're right up on the television, right? right? Like For people like us, like who like to kind of sit back and play, whatever, yeah, you need... You mean at least like five, six feet. So I mean, with that, yeah, I I'd pull up my recliner like up to my television. Yeah, it's really need, bad. You need mm-hmm. like the if they're not going to go wireless, they're gonna, you're going to need like an yeah, I, which I don't understand, man. Like Bluetooth controllers is the thing. Like let's go. I mean, even infrared. I mean, Something. infrared's cheap. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Um. Uh, so now, although declining to provide specific numbers, Nintendo did confirm that they will produce significantly more units than the NES Classic Edition. The we'll NES see. Classic. <laughs> uh, well, I mean these. I'm sure they're they're not lying. You know, we can kind of tell if they're lying and then hold them to that. Uh, The NES Classic ship 2.3 million units, so we're going to get more than 2.3 million. Maybe 2.4. We don't know. Yeah, right. (laughs) 2.31. Got Uh, him. I mean, it says significantly, so, I mean, what what does that mean? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, It is planning on shipping uh, from September 29th till the end of the calendar year, and then they said that's it. Now, Chris, you think that that's not true, that that they are going to go past that they they haven't said for sure that we're only making them for, until the end of the calendar year they said there's no plans to make more after that so which probably, i think that they're all gonna I, if they sell if they make three million i think they're all gonna be gone and i think they should make another run and i think they'd be foolish not but there. anytime soon like i don't think it's gonna I think it would be years before they re-release it i mean they gotta they gotta focus on switch development right now you only have so many resources focus on switch development which yeah they said they're upping that but i mean like they're taking forever with that. It's insane that, that people still can't find one. Yeah. It's so, absolutely I mean, insane. This is not as important as Switch. I'd say you you step up your Switch development and then maybe focus on that uh, the SNES and the NES because they also said the same thing about the NES. It depends. I mean, we also don't know if like a third party is making these and Nintendo's just putting their name on it. You know? Um, it, yeah. It also could be, I mean, the fact that they're selling these for 80 bucks, they might be making... 60 bucks off each one and not making oh, 60 100%, bucks off yeah. each Switch. I, I doubt they're even making 60. Oh, I see. That's a, I'd say that's they're probably question. making 10 or 20 because, you know, it is it's it is cheap to make these, and I'm sure they have access to all those things, but they don't have access like Microsoft or Sony has. They still have to buy, you know, things maybe not necessarily at cost. Mm. 
you know, to well, technology to build this stuff. That's so. part of the problem with, with trying to be the Apple of the video game industry. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> a little more overhead. Yeah. I think we're going to get more. Yeah. I just, like, what I don't understand is why pre-orders aren't, aren't up already. Yeah, like, they are up in yeah. the UK, apparently, like, Amazon.co.uk, you can buy one or whatever. But apparently the box is different, which, like, uh, immediately turned me off, which is the most first world problem I may ever have. Uh, but um, I, I can't wait. I'm going to buy it as soon as possible. So. Yeah. Thank you for the amazing segue, by the way. Speaking of different boxes in Japan, you can buy the Super Famicom. Ah, oh, Famicom disc. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's goes that must. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does goes that must mean? I, I don't actually know what you said. What uh, do Oh, that's thank you very much. So it's goes that must is very much. Go, go, yeah, essentially. Yeah. So I just said, oh, very much. <laughs> oh, very much. Super <laughs> Famicom. Super Famicom. Very happy. Yes. Very happy. And, I can't oh, wait to go so to much Japan. persona. I love it. It's so I can't good. Wait. Uh, I might buy this just because I love Japan now so much. Um, so just since you've seen so much of Tokyo now playing yeah, Persona 5. So, you know, I heard that with, and I don't want to talk too much about Persona until we get into what we're, what we're playing, but uh, Spoilers. I, I heard that uh, that there are people who have been to Japan uh, very often that will say that they got lost in the game, and they're like, wait, hold on. I actually, I know how to get around the station because I was actually yep. at that station. Yep. That's insane. That's so I'm cool. looking forward to doing that next uh, time. So, um, That's crazy. Japan's getting that on October 7th. Everything will be the same except for the logo and a couple of games. So they're switching out Super Castlevania 4, Super Punch-Out, Kirby's Dream Course, and Earthbound for The Legend of Mythical Ninja. Mystical Ninja. Uh, Goman? Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go for this. Oh. Ganber Goman, Yukihime Kishutsu Imaki. I think you're close. I, I believe Very it's... Very fun! The, <laughs> Gabriel Gorman, Yukihime, Kyushutsu, Imaki. Yep. Yeah. The Q, the Q, the Q, 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 Q. <laughs> that, that's all, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to get that, which is, I guess, cool. Uh, Super Formation Soccer, uh, Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. Have you guys played that at all? Not like, is that, that one like in particular. A... Um, I imagine um, it's probably uh, Fire Emblem 5 like or game? something like that. I sure about this game. Is it Fire like, Emblem? Yeah, is it like a where there's like an employee named Emblem? And you're just like the whole. Point oh God! Oh my God! Oh, oh. I, 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 you know, I'm so disappointed in myself because I was like, oh my God, he wants to know more about Fire Emblem. Yeah, and I, 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 bet, really I, bet, I'm like, I well, so hard on it. I was like, let's talk about Fire Emblem. Let's just, you know, let's, yeah, oh, but Christ. I guess not. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. full, full racism this yeah, episode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, and then Panel Dupon, which is also known as Tetris Attack. God, that game is so good. Is it? I've never played Tetris. It's Attack. fun. It's yeah. so good. A lot of games I haven't played. played. I like Tetris with bombs. I'm not making that. <laughs> I'm going to get serious. No, it? it's not. Not even a little bit. I don't know what I was thinking about. You know what I was hoping Dr. for? Dr. Mario? I, I heard, well, I heard that Sorry. there is a game out there where it is Dr. Mario versus Tetris Attack, and one side plays Tetris Attack, the other side plays Dr. Mario. Bum, 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 I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know. Um, so this is basically a Nintendo podcast right now because the only news we have today is for Nintendo. Uh, they've had a great year this year. Uh, their market value has surpassed Sony this week. It is the highest it's been since 2008, uh, which I that's when the Wii came out, right? Mm, 2006. Okay. Well, yeah, something like that. Still, uh, so now it's it's almost a little bit unfair to compare Mic uh, not Microsoft, uh, Nintendo to Sony, because Sony has you know interest in things other than just gaming. They have TVs, they have you know technology and stuff. So it's kind of apples and oranges, but it's still a really cool benchmark to kind of compare it to the fact that they have gone past Sony, uh, and Sony's been having a great year too. So I mean that's another great thing to mention. Uh, now, since the release of Pokemon Go last year, Nintendo's stock is up 160%. Which is unbelievable to me. That's because, cool. uh, Because, as most people know now, but clearly investors didn't know, that they didn't make Pokemon Go. Right. Niantic did. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Remember I told you that, like, the first week of Pokemon Go, their stock went up like seven hundred. Yeah, I was like, dude, man, like they, these these, these guys are dumb. Like, hey, we didn't make it. And there was a <laughs> it was, yeah, don't say. And then anything. it plummeted, right? Yeah. And then it, like yeah. it just it just yeah, as soon as they did that press then... release, it bloom. I wonder if they legally had to say that. That's a or, see. Like, that's a good question. Do you have a responsibility to not take credit for something? I mean, you don't have. They don't have to say anything, really. 
I mean, actually, no, that is, I mean, do they have a uh, plea the fifth? <laughs> I, would, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the smartest company Pokemon. doesn't say anything. Good. For Pokemon. You know, let's yes. just go full race. This is a Nintendo episode. Very, Why not? Very yes. Very Why yes. not? <laughs> um, and then the final news. The fi- I, this is, I swear to God, that's it. Then the news is over. Uh, and I have the, I'm going to read this exactly how I wrote it. Can't wait for Super Mario Odyssey. Exciting. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, 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 can't wait. You I, wrote this, I wrote this very fast. Can't wait for Super Mario Odyssey's exciting new gameplay mechanic. Well, you can experience it today. Sort of. So somebody modded Super Mario, not Mario, Super Mario, Mario 64 to, uh, to use the Cappy mechanic where in the new mario odyssey you could throw your hat and then possess stuff so you know as you can see from this clip that we're playing right now right you could do that in this modded version of mario which i mean that it looks, so looks cool. it looks really cool you though. can control enemies platforms and blocks that's really smart it's whoever I, I you mean, are kudos. kudos jinx you owe yeah. me a coke okay or just a beer later yeah i'll get you a beer cool I got you, fam. I wish I had more things to say about that. I said that right. I said that right. The whitest. I got you, fam. I got you. That's how I do. Anytime I do say anything cool, like fidget spinners, I I try to say it as lame as possible. Who pronounces the chew and got you? I got you. Nobody ever. Well, because I don't want people to think I said you. I want. I got you, you, fam. I got you, fam. I'm saying it. I I have you, fam. I have you, fam. Oh, I'm gonna start saying that. Ooh, the I am is something I'm in possession of. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, that that old school meme uh, uh, of the the uh, whatever the old guy in the eight, you know it doesn't matter. Oh, the the yeah yeah that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah the right yeah that okay. Chris has no idea what we're talking about, no, but that's old. not any different from any normal podcast, right? <laughs> it's all right. I got you, family. Okay, I, I have you, family. <laughs> <laughs> I have you, family. Okay, uh, so that's that's it for 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 the news. So now we're just gonna go uh, to extend this time so that way it's not a half an hour episode, uh, which might even be less than that. I don't know. We're gonna move on. So to you're stolen... legitimately hold on. So you're legitimately telling everyone. So we're just buying. Time. We're just buying. I'm time. honest. I'm honest. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm honest. So what we're gonna do is if you're watching in chat right now, you can ask us questions. You know, if you have any questions about anything we've talked about or about us or about the almost fight that happened, uh, we can <laughs> we can talk we about can the talk fight about that almost happened last we're just Sunday. Gonna talk uh but in the meantime we might I, get in the fight tonight <laughs> you never know it's right facebook up. live it uh so hyper fighting hyper fighting. <laughs> so um we uh i stole a bunch of questions from a more popular podcast <laughs> that we are going to now use uh the first one uh, is do you think we'll ever get another james bond game no i well hold on i think that it is a possibility but i don't think if it coincides with a james bond movie then it's going to be garbage i think that's more likely that it that we'll get like the next james bond movie and then we get a you know just a uh shovelware you know freaking game but i think that that ip if they can develop a game kind of like spider-man's doing right now where you develop a game that is actually its own good game aside from the movie just on its own legs i think that that is a great genre that there aren't really too many games for nowadays i think the better question is does anyone want it and I'll i think take that's it. probably why it hasn't happened i'll um, take it we're still, we're still going back and playing goldeneye like yeah, i don't want it but i definitely think well i don't want it more james bond games. i want it to be a splinter cell type thing i don't want it to be hmm. i don't want it to be like like uh goldeneye i want it to be a first person shooter i want to see a splinter cell james bond game oh re- real splinter quick cell. i gotta i gotta point out my dude mark mayfield in the chat have thy fellow family member within thine protection brilliant okay well played so uh that happened uh the next one is if you could only drink one drink for the rest of your life what would it be non-alcoholic because then you die no I challenge accepted gin and tonic you would die get at me you would die and then we'd i'd have to find somebody else to replace you on this i'm irreplaceable baby. if it's non-alcoholic i'd have to say orange juice okay if it's alcoholic, and then you would get diabetes <laughs> <laughs> if it's alcoholic you gotta go with ice cold miller light Oh God! Your opinions gross. are so bad. All right, if oh. it's well, then we'll do both. If, if it's non-alcoholic, oh, sorry, bad word. <laughs> sorry, I think it's my first one. Yeah, is it, is it your first one in your entire podcast Life? career? Have you never have you never used that word before? Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't cuss. 
You know, you said you don't cuss. What are you in third grade? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got so in trouble for cussing yesterday. Non-alcoholic, I'd say ginger ale. I heard about that. It surprised me at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I'd say ginger ale for non-alcoholic because I love ginger ale. Oh, ginger ale's and, and cool. Alcohol, you could judge me too, but at least it's better than Miller Lite, Bud Light. Love me some Bud Light. Okay, I'm I'm retiring because you guys are terrible. <laughs> okay, so what no. are yours? Um, for uh. I'd say non-alcoholic. I gotta go with my dude Barks Root Beer because oh, because mm -hmm. that's the second one for me. Yeah, yeah Barks Root Beer is, is that the only one with caffeine? It is, isn't it? Uh, well, you can get it caffeine free and non. But I like my root yeah. beer with caffeine. I don't like root beer. Sorry. Again, with the bad opinions, <laughs> bad bad hot takes. Um, and then uh, alcoholic gin and I think and actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm not going to to do gin and tonic. I'm gonna do Terrapin Liquid Bliss. Because uh, if anyone out there has not had it, okay. it is a chocolate and mm. peanut butter porter, and it is absolutely oh, okay. amazing. So if we're gonna do that, nah. Reese's I'm peanut butter cup. Change mine, and I'm gonna go to Bold City's Fritz, and that's gonna because that's my favorite beer I've ever had. Fritz, yeah. I don't think I've had it. I What's mean, it? but so if it's gonna be the only drink this that you can now ever have, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be the only beer that you're, you're ever gonna have. You don't want something that unique. You like that's why I picked Bud Light is because it's it's bland. It's just alcohol water. That's all it is. So eventually you're gonna get tired of that drink. That's why I don't drink Yingling anymore. Because because when I first started drinking, I, that's all I had all the time, and it's it has no, so I much can't. flavor. I, I got tired of it. My, I changed my vote. Okay. Well, now you now you have to stick with it. Now, like oh, you're screwed. Cool. Now you got a couple questions Someone's... in the chizat. Oh, we do. Uh, why is uh, Mark Mayfield wants to know why is mayo the worst condiment? I can't really it say is. anything because it really I, don't, is. I don't like condiments. So. I will never forget. I was probably what? eleven or twelve. It is. It really is. Mayonnaise is fantastic. No. Okay. So oh, I I'll never forget it. I I opened up. Um, all right, reaching the fridge and grab some mayo. I was gonna make myself a sandwich. Read the nutritional facts. Saw what everything that was in it and how terrible it is for you, for you, and that was the end of my horrible. mayonnaise career. Oh, it's horrible for you. Right. Yeah. Then, then I didn't know because you know when you're 12, you know, you pretend like you know everything. I didn't know that chicken salad and tuna salad had mayo in it for like four years, yep. and then I read the nutritional facts and I was like, I can't have this either. Delicious. Oh, hmm. but now I found like like paleo chicken salad like things and you know, yeah. You know what? Go ahead and write this down. Fuck mayo. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so, actually, well, before I do that... Uh, yeah, we got one more question in there. Duo Chan. Did I say hey, that Duo, right? how are you? Uh, hear from he you? wants to know, Jacob, have you ever had Jones Soda? Uh, one, congrats on your uh, promotion, by the way. She just got promoted uh, as Senior Game Advisor at GameSpot. Uh, stop, spot. Stop. Um, I was going to say GameSpot. I know, right? Hey, Whoa, right? Know, you want to <laughs> do an interview? Hey, come on over. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yes, I have had Jones Soda, and it is fan-damn-tastic. I don't know what that is. That's like the you one should try you some. see. Like, they have like orange and grape, and, mm -hmm. and they're in like the tall glasses. You'll see them like... It's very hipster. Yeah, you can, you can find them at like Winn Dixie and stuff like that, in like the you know like the different section, I guess. I don't know. The, the different section. <laughs> what kind of Publix has a different section? So we're like, we're like the kosher stuff is, and like just the like, oh, like, you know, like the, the different. Yeah, I know the what you're talking about. Food the section? ethnic, the non-white section. Wow, we were racist as yeah, hell today, yo. Gender neutral section. Let's, <laughs> the gender. We're not racist. Neutral. Publix is. Oh I know exactly God. what you're talking about. All of my people's food is only on one aisle. I get it. Uh, welcome to Trump's America. Sorry, Mark. Uh, now, the next question is, what game did you think you wouldn't like, but when you finally played it, you actually loved it? Mine was Seven Days to Die. I looked at that, I'm like, no, this looks like hot garbage. I played that, I'm like, oh, this is so cool, and I couldn't stop playing it for a week, and then I realized it was hot garbage, and I stopped playing it. Man, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think I really have one. I don't really have one. Yeah. Or maybe even the opposite? I'm trying to think. Because oh, I know yours is really like the opposite. Zelda, the new Zelda. Yeah. You thought you'd that, love it, and now you, you hate it. That would probably be the <sighs> and, I, and I was so disappointed when you stopped playing Actually, it. Actually, you know what? I thought I would hate Mario Sunshine. Ah, okay. okay. And I enjoyed it. That's, hmm. that's one. What about you, Jake? You know, I gotta say the original Legend of Zelda. What? Because I... I was like, ah, like, cause this was before, uh, this was like, I was like maybe 10 or 11 and this was, uh, right after I'd be Ocarina of Time. So like think about Ocarina of Time and then going back and playing right. Zelda right afterwards. So I didn't think I would like it. Not that I wouldn't like it. I think I didn't think I would love it. And, uh, like, cause the first time I played it, um, I didn't know that you just need to go downstairs to get the sword. So I'm just walking around and like tr avoiding stuff. And I'm just like, <laughs> how do I do the thing? <laughs> like, where do I go? I don't know. Um, cause I was, you know, a bad bitch and didn't look up strategy guys because I'm, I'm cool like that. Okay. Um, 
And then um, I, of course, was like, oh, I just had to go downstairs in the first screen when you boot up the freaking game. Thanks, me. Uh, um, no, but that game is a... Uh, hey, Yahtzee. Um, but that, that's... It's, a, it's an absolute classic for a reason. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's so good. Uh, the next question is, what is your favorite thing to wear while playing video games? Naked. Uh, depends on the season. If it is warm, then shirt, boxers. If it is cold... Everything in my closet and my, my I have a superhero Snuggie, a DC superhero Snuggie with Batman and Superman on it, and I like to wear that. Whatever I'm wearing. I have no preference. No preference? Really? Yeah. No. You don't get in your, like, I mean, like, when I'm, when I'm about to play a game, I'm like, all right, I'm going to put on my, like, sometimes I wear gym shorts, too, just like my comfiest clothes, so that way I can sit there for hours and hours and hours and play. It also depends on what your, uh, what your style is when you get home from work, because I am a shoes off, pants off. Lego, and most of the time shirt off, cool. ladies. Mm. Uh, <laughs> jerk off to <laughs> <laughs> watch our last. I mean, we can do some if, ASMR, if this baby. Was, if this was a comic book, there would be a little asterisk and be like, "See Omega uh, DRF talks to strangers, episode six or something." But right. yeah, jerk off to Alexander. Like, yeah, the damn thing. right, Jason J- Jacob Alexander. I'm single, play. ladies. Uh, the next thing is, what is your comfort food game? Mine is Journey. Every now and then, when I need to just play something that's relaxing and makes me feel good, I play Journey. I, and I try to find people on there, even though there's not that many people on there. And I, I dress in the, the white garb because mm-hmm. I got all the stuff. Right. And I try to show them the way through Journey. God, and man, I love like, doing that. God, that game, so is, good. that game is the... Comfort food, like something just to throw in for a little bit? Yeah, like, I mean, my other one would be Star Wars Battlefront 2. Okay. So or 1. Mine would Mario Kart 8. Okay. Or Hot Shots Golf 3. Oh, oh wow. Ooh, nice. You go on and play, play 18 and as crazy. And then that's. And then just, you know. Yeah, then you're done, yeah. And then retire. That's good. And then, and then retire because you can't get back. back on or whatever you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> um. Man, it, it, I was really surprised when I was looking over your notes and saw Journey because I think I mentioned it before. Like, I don't ever want to play that game again because there's no way that I'm going to be. It's going to be at the level that it was the first well, time. Well, see, I you're not it. playing it right then, and you miss. Maybe you miss the point of Journey. I believe the point of Journey is helping people on their journey. Sure. And that's and that's why that's occasionally possible. I'll go in there and I'll feel good afterwards. Is like I led this person. I try to do it cinematically too. I uh-huh. want them to wonder if I'm an NPC or a real player. Right. And I will like at the very end, that last level where you're flying around and you go up to the mountain. I try to race ahead of them, and uh-huh. then I'll stand on the mountain just looking over. Like, so then that way like, they see me, <laughs> and I'm like, Ta-da. come with me into the light. Oh, that's gonna be a good and screen cap, right? So you're basically just saying did. like, when it comes to journey, don't stop believing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark just said, "Don't stop believing in that game." Dude. I believe in the game, Mark. That's the that's the idea. I don't want to. I don't think it's going to be as special next the second time. But um, I will say it was an absolute mind blowing experience realizing that it wasn't the same ass <laughs> over and over and over again. Yeah. That was pissing me off because he sucked. It was thirty four assets that yeah. sucked. But um, comfort food wise. I I gotta go with Breath of the Wild actually. Oh wow, Breath of the Wild because it's just like all right. Man, I still have 300,000 hours left. But that's cool. I'll just play this for an hour before I have to go to work or something. That's a good point. Uh, so the next one is, why do you... Uh, sorry, what do you like to do in a video game but hate doing in real life? I don't like running errands for other people. I don't want... If somebody came up to me and was like, Hey, can you go to the store and pick me up three oranges and two apples? No, thank you. I'm good. Unless why does Jamie. it have to be specifically numbered? Like, why exactly. only three apples? Exactly. If I bring you, I don't know. I, so I don't like doing errands for people. I also don't like killing people. So that's, yeah, that's pretty fun. I don't like killing people. I don't like, I mean, if I have to do it, I will, but I don't like Fight or flight, baby. I don't enjoy it. Yeah, killing people would be a good one. So we're all going to go Grand with Grand Theft Auto people? 5, much. Um, I got to go with... in real life, not as much fun as it is in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, AIDS. AIDS, yeah. Not good. Um... I gotta go with every side thing in Persona Five, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, except sit- for the batting cage. I'm good with that. I was gonna say having to sit there and just listen to people like talk really weird about like I'm gonna strengthen my heart. Yeah, insult me. Yes, well, like, that exactly. Was so weird. Yeah, but, it, <laughs> but inside it's such Persona a good jokes. Way. I know, right? It's so fun. Okay, but, social uh, link up. <laughs> Uh, now the next one is, would you welcome new consoles or would you rather wait a few more years? Uh, I think we have to wait a few more years because it would destroy the video game. We industry. just got a new one anyway. Coming like we basically did. If we got one in a couple of years, that would just, the bubble would burst and 
you know, every company would take such a giant loss that it would just destroy the video game industry. Because of the amount of time and investment to, yeah, to bring it up to speed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a while. What do you, like, Let's give it. Let's let's give it. A, let's give it a, a year. Like, what do you like? What do you think will oh, be? Four years. What year? Four years. Yeah, hundred percent. So, because, I mean, twenty twenty one. They yeah. they said that this I is agree. a, a mid console uh, upgrade or release or whatever. So it has been four years. Well, I just threw my pen. Uh, you were so excited. Twenty twenty one. It's been four years since the last one. So if this is mid, then four more years. And eight eight has pretty much been the magic number for the past couple of releases. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Agreed. Uh, final question, the most important one. What is your favorite cheese? Parmesan. Provolone. Uh, <laughs> awesome. That was great. Uh, that was, yeah, that was fun. Provolone for sure. Um, I, but I don't hate on any cheese because cheese is the best. That's true. I actually, when I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, I Ugh. I used to when I was watching like Power Rangers and Pokemon and stuff, I would sit there with uh you know that green Parmesan powdered cheese, I forgot what it was called, like uh, Parmesan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. It's, uh, cra- it's typically it's craft. craft. Okay, yeah. yeah. I would sit yeah. there and I'd pop the top off and I would sit there with a spoon and I would just eat Parmesan cheese oh, while watching right. that. That's how much I love Parmesan cheese. That's awesome. I swear to God. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm uh I'm starting to come around a lot on the uh, on pimento. Pimento's good. Pimento's okay. like, great. Like, like on sandwiches or crackers or something? It's good. Not mayo. Um, I, never, I never had that. And uh, Pepper Jack, shout out. Colby Jack, shout out. Colby Jack is amazing. I love Colby Swiss. Jack. Swiss, Swiss is pretty dope. Swiss. Well, here's the thing about Swiss. Have you ever had like real Apparently Swiss? Apparently it's completely different. It's disgusting. Yeah, really? It's the most <laughs> bitter thing really? ever. I can't stand it. We get, uh, we get deliveries from a farm and it is... They're like, oh, here's Swiss. And I'm like, oh, I like Swiss. <laughs> Enjoy that, audio listeners. I know, right? You're <laughs> welcome. watching the video. Uh, I don't know. Support us on Patreon <laughs> for throw up noise. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you want more? You know what? No, 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 no. Now you absolutely need to do uh, a Patreon tier for $5 a month, just 15 minutes of throw up noises every week. I'll do it by myself. <laughs> That's I'll tell you what, if somebody sends us a message saying that they want that, we'll do it. I mean, please. Why not? We listen to our customers. Uh, so the next thing we're going to go into is what we are playing. I have been playing Persona 5. Now, before, before I talk about that, I also, uh, I there was a couple new VR games that came out. There is a Spider-Man VR experience, what? which was pretty dope. I liked it. And you hold the, the move controllers like this, so you're like <laughs> oh, doing that. It was really fun. It was only like. 10 minutes long though it was was still fun cool and then uh rush of blood uh until dawn was on sale for eight bucks so i got that that's pretty exciting uh i'm almost done with pokemon sun and then finally yeah persona 5 can we talk about how amazing oh we can but real quick yeah uh until dawn is free on ps plus everyone get Get it it now now. jx again you owe me another beer fine so (laughs) you have to get it it's so good i can't believe how good that game is it is absolutely great um maybe in my top five ps4 exclusives it's that good oh uh okay so i mean you got to put metal gear solid uncharted 4 uncharted 4 Metal Gear solid's not an exclusive not this gen it was oh that's right okay Final Fantasy wasn't either. Nope. Nope. Uh, I mean, you're really uh, talking, uh, like, like, Yeah, actually. Like, like, was it like Nier? Um, Nier was... Uncharted 4. Um, Persona Born, 5. Bloodborne. Persona 5. Yeah. Persona 5. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you for Until Dawn. It's it's also one of those games that's really fun to watch, too. I've, I've watched it be beaten by eight different people at yeah. this point, and most of, most of the time with... Uh, party of like at least five people and if you support us on patreon at a 50 dollars level jacob will come to your house and watch you beat the game he'll yeah watch you beat it r- right in front of him you know what 25 25 he'll watch you beat it right in front of him he'll let you he'll just watch the whole time just watch you beat it yeah. we're not even talking about until dawn anymore are we? Hey! Hey! Penis. Penis. <laughs> uh so yeah get it it's amazing uh but persona 5 just, Let's go. Oh my god. Okay. And this so is where they Chris said, falls asleep. They said that this is the greatest RP- JRPG ever made. I'm going to go even further to say this is the best RPG ever made. Ooh. Oh my god. I used to How love, far are you in it? I am I okay, so I got it Tuesday. Tristan let me borrow it. 
on I got on Tuesday night. I started playing Wednesday, and I am already June like eighteenth, nineteenth or so. So nothing. 30, 30 hours in. <laughs> so nothing. Thirty hours in. That's this pretty. That's game. pretty crazy considering I, you you guys. He's got a Tuesday. That's I'm unbelievable. A, I've just entered my third palace. I, awesome. Oh, it's, so, love this it's game. so amazing. It's so good. I mean, great but, villains too. Seriously, like, I mean, like uh, Kamoshida might be one of my favorite ga- any game villain of all time. Yeah, and a sharp dresser. In For that uh, in that robe and and uh, yeah and, speedo uh, speedo yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the thing about this game that I love is the battle mechanics. So that was the thing that so that fun. made me stop playing RP, uh, JRPGs is that you know anytime you run into an encounter you're like oh okay so I'm gonna run through this and then I do that but these go by so quickly yeah that unless you suck unless you suck and you know it just it, it speeds everything up and I think that this needs to be the new standard. For RPG, <laughs> just instead for Sonic Five discussion without me, how rude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Tristan. I agree. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it, it, it's incredible. We're it's definitely incredible. gonna have to have like a, a spoiler cast, like when, when when everybody's done. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Yeah, dude, gotta yeah, gotta 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 have it. Got it. Um, yeah. So I, I just want to say that about Persona yeah. Five. Yeah, um, I'm playing? about. I'm, I'm Persona Five. I'm oh. about eighty-five hours in, which means again, not even close. What, to what's done. the date and month? Oh gosh, um, we're just the month. What month am I in? What year is it? <laughs> it's the summer, sometime. Okay, I don't remember. It's been a little bit. It's been a couple days. Um, I am in the fifth palace. Ah. Though. Um, I obviously don't want to say how many there are. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me. I don't. But know. um, but yeah, I'm in the fifth palace, and it it just. It's, the the fourth palace is my absolute favorite, by the way. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what you think. And I did it in one day because get because co- you get coffee and you get SP. Oh yeah, coffee. yeah. No, I, I I've been trying to plow through them so that way I can uh, have the rest of the time just like comfortably. Because the first palace, I'm like, you know what? It keeps telling me to take my time. I'm gonna take my time. Right. I'm gonna go through it, you know, at my own pace and do all these other things. And then it said, okay, there's you know two days left. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna plow through this and, right. and do whatever. And then it turned out it's like, oh, the calling card takes a whole day. Yeah. And on the day, like you almost the got, deadline, you almost screwed yourself. No, no, yeah. I did screw myself. Oh, on really? The day of, it's like, okay, now we need to go back up. Oh, too late. And yeah. I got game over, and I didn't have to go back a week, but I had to go back three days, and that was a pain. Oh, oh a pain saves? Part, so, yeah, yeah. That's, that sucks. Yeah, you yeah. got to plan. Save a lot. If yeah. you play this game, save just all And have time. multiples. Don't be that guy that has their son or daughter overwrite their save. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Chris, what are you playing, bud? Oh, oh no. I'm not oh, done oh, yet. Oh, sorry. I'm not sorry, done sorry, yet. My bad, my bad. And then, I, you know what I downloaded today? What? Sonic on my phone. Oh, how I was sitting at the, I was laying good. out at the pool playing Green Hill Zone. Oh, my God. It was so fun. It's and it's crazy because like with the ROMs, it did not play well at all touchscreen wise. With the actual game itself now, magnifique. Well, magnifique. I hear that the emulator uh, that they're using doesn't work well with Fantasy Star though. That There's a lot of complaints. That, that I'm not sure yet. I will have to follow up hmm. with you on that. Gotcha. Um, now Chris's turn. Yeah, I picked up uh, <clears throat> WWE 2K17 for PS4 for 20 bucks on sale yesterday. Nice. Are you having fun with it? Oh yeah, I downloaded Shinsuke Nakamura. If we're talking about ja- real Japanese heroes, um, yeah, Japanese. Yow. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. I made my character already and started uh, career mode. And nice. So yeah. Is the is your character named Jabroni? Yeah, it's his nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Jab- yeah, Can you imagine like Tony Chimmel? Jabroni. <laughs> no. I'm on the first palace, which is the performance center. Of <laughs> so I just gotta work my way through that. Matt Bloom is tough. I see what you did there. Yeah. Very nice. Well played. Well Very played. Nice. I like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, now we're going to move on to video game 20 questions. I came up with a video game. Oh, uh, I hate this And they have, to, <laughs> they have to guess what it is using yes or no questions. I will either say yes, no, maybe, sometimes, or be careful with that one. Or actually, I don't even have to say look. I have to look it up because I, I have a lot of information about this game. So uh, start. Uh, so, so do the thing. Um, Let's see. What did we always start with last week? I already forgot. Released before, or was it before or after? We have to pick a before or after. January 1st, 2000. Was it, yeah, yeah. So was it was it released before blah, 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 2000? January 1st, 2000. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. So, after. Um, was it in the Xbox 360 PS3 Wii generation? 
If you say be careful, I'm going to slap you. Uh, no. No. Hmm. No. Let me double... No. Okay. So it's either PS2, Dreamcast, Xbox, or current gen. The current gen. Um, is it current gen? No. All right. Okay, so it's PS2, Xbox, GameCube. Is it an exclusive? Yes. When it was released, it was an exclusive. I've just, that's I, I mean, that's, that's, that's meaning it's not anymore? Well, no, no, but that's the thing. I Actually, I didn't look up and see if it was re-released on anything, but, you know, just to make sure that we're all on the same page, you know. I, I, I honestly don't know if it was ever released. I have no idea. Hmm. I don't think this game ever came Tristan out. Tristan reminded us <laughs> to not neglect the PC. You master race fool. No, I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. Is it an RPG? Yeah, you know what? You have to turn off your tablet because oh, oh, you can't. You can't get the. I didn't want to do the thing. Questions. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to be spoiled anyway. Uh, is it? You said uh, is My it chat. an RPG? Yeah. Okay, so here's where it gets tricky. Oh boy. Be careful with that one. There are arguments on whether or not this game is an RPG. I say hmm. that it is not. A lot of people say that it is. I personally say that it is not. But there are actually there are entire. Like articles about like, this. Threads. <laughs> like, is this an RPG? I say no. Mm. That's really I mean, fascinating. To add context to that, can you give us like an example of, of like? So like, uh, what, what? is Portal is Portal a first person shooter? I say okay. no. Some people might say yes. Actually, first person, I think I've, first person puzzle game. Yeah, exactly. So I say for, but you know, do you shoot so stuff? You say, so you say there's people who consider this to be an RPG. You don't consider it to be. An RPG. I don't consider it to be an RPG. Oh, and I'm tricky. not even saying the majority it's leans one way or the other. It looks pretty much in the middle. Confused if it's an RPG or not. Yeah. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's see where. Do we go from here? I don't know. Where do we go? Where do we where do we go? Where do from we go? Here? Uh I think we gotta nail down what con what what it was on. What it was on. Okay. Um And don't forget, guys, if you want to submit your questions uh through chat, uh if it's a good one after ten questions, I will allow them to take one of What number questions. are we at? Like five or six? Five. Five. Was it a PS two exclusive? Nope. So hmm. Xbox, GameCube or PC? Uh oh. Was it an Xbox exclusive? Nope. Damn it. What you what were you thinking? I was thinking Fable. Oh, um, oh that's, that's an RPG. RPG. Yeah, why? that's an RPG. I, I didn't play it, so I don't know. Um, C congrats! I, I got <laughs> supposed to be the best game of all time, and Peter Mullen, you you're a liar. So it's 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 either GameCube, PC, um, or possibly Dreamcast. Which the Dreamcast is a man. That's such a weird. I mean, do you want to just go ahead and say, did it come out with the GameCube? <laughs> sure. Yeah. What are you doing? No, it, nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Talk closer to the mic. All right. Did it come out for the GameCube? Uh, no. Well, that just fucking. That is eight oh, questions. So it's, so it's, <laughs> so it's sorry. Either, so it's literally either Dreamcast or PC. Which is really weird. Um, or maybe handheld. I mean, okay, 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 okay. I think we, I think if we nail down what it was on. Okay, that, that, well, I want to. I want to. I'm trying to think of like Sega Dreamcast games. Come on, I want to. I'm gonna start with that. Shenmue. Could be an RPG. Could not be an RPG. I mean, um, what else? Fan what was Fantasy Star Online? Fantasy Star was absolutely an RPG, 100. Um, percent um, Shenmue is a good place to start. <laughs> Did it have cherry blossoms in it? <laughs> um, actually, screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to legitimately ask that question. Don't don't ask if it's no. there's cherry blossoms in it. That's a dumb question. I would ask your face on, is a dumb I question. Would ask if it's on the Dreamcast. Okay. Is the Dreamcast exclusive? Nope. Jeez. So it's on PC. Are we, are we asking? Handheld. Oh God, I didn't even think about handhelds. Jesus. So you had Game Boy Advance and DS wasn't out yet, right? <sighs> Well, it's it's it after yeah no yeah it wasn't okay. Um, DS wasn't out yet, so you're talking Game Boy Advance. You're talking PSP maybe. Wow. And or PC. 
So Man. this is where I, I'm lost. This um, is, yeah, this got interesting really fast. Um, Let's see. So. I mean, we got to go. Is it a PC exclusive? You're asking that? Yes. Yes. Okay. It is a PC exclusive. When it freaking out. Tristan yeah, no. is a nailed it. like is a psychic he's a, he's, when it comes to this. He, that was he, the first thing he said was yeah. don't neglect PC. Yep. If he was here and he asked that, then so, uh, this is where I don't. I mean, I I know nothing right. about PC We are games, ten than, questions in. Shooters. If you guys have a good question, ask it in chat. Uh, yeah. If I don't offer one of your questions to them, it's because it's not really gonna. It's not happen. the personal. It's just what business. Was a PC exclusive that could be confused as being an RPG. In the early 2000s. Wow. I... Fallout? But that's absolutely an RPG. The fact that there's an argu- there'd be an arguments against that would be insane. You know, um, I mean, you're at 10 questions Actually, now. that came out too early anyway. That came you out might beat eight. the high score. You might. That came out it's possible. Eight, so you know enough. You know, you know it came out on PC. Exclusive. Exclusive. And... Um, you know, actually, the date range when right. it came out on PC. Because it came out along the same, the, in the PS3, 360, GameCube era. Wow. One. Ooh. Oh. Oh. When did Morrowind come out? Ooh. Um, but that would have to be RPG. That's so. 100, 100%. I was going to say, and that's it's way too early. early. It's way too early. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. It's a good try, though. Uh, yeah, I, I felt like it came out too way too early too, because that was like two thousand and one, I want to say, or ninety eight, ninety five, ninety eight. When did World of Warcraft come out? Two thousand four or five? I want to say. I mean, but there's no argument that that's I'm, not I'm an just, RPG. I'm going to save you some. That is classified as an MMORPG. Right. Okay. Like that is the. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of games I've never played. <laughs> <Let's> um, <see. laughs> like, uh, um, with PC, it's literally only shooters. Um, no, that, uh, no, that doesn't you're the sense. guy that knows. Yeah, like this is my this is my game. Well, dog. I mean, no matter what, I I don't want you guys to forget that I've been very very good about choosing games that everybody's heard about. Right, yeah, sure. So oh no, like, yeah. No matter it. what, this isn't gonna be like oh it well, was, it was uh, uh, this game uh, that what, came out. What was that? Uh, I can't even remember the name of it. Uh, Ultima Online. Yeah, you know, right. Or something. Right. I, I'm sure you've heard of. Have you heard of it Ultima was Online? Runescape. <laughs> oh. But wait, but that was early. Diablo when did Diablo two? Diablo two came out like oh one. But are we doing sequel? I, th- I didn't think we did sequels. We haven't asked if it's part of a series. I think that's a good shot. Is it part of a? Is it? Is there multiple games in the series? Yes. I mean, I, I Diablo is my swing for the fences. I don't know when Diablo one. Came How can out. anyone argue that that's not an RPG though? Dungeon that's... crawler. Is that different from an RPG? No, that's absolutely an RPG. Um, in my opinion. I'm not looking at this, <laughs> okay. I promise. I don't, um, I don't cheat like this guy. No, <laughs> dang. Sometimes, to be the man, woo, you gotta beat the man. <laughs> um, okay, so... I mean, literally, that's all I've, all I've got is... I, I just don't know when Diablo 1 or 2 came out. I know when 3 came out. Right. And I want to <laughs> say Diablo... And Diablo 1's way too early. Um... Is it wow. really? Oh, did we? Tristan's saying we already did Diablo. My we way. did. We did. We already did Diablo. Okay. So okay. then you could rule that out. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Tristan. Yeah, thank you, Tr- See, Tristan. See, Tristan the man. Just like, he's so good. Okay, so it's definitely not. Definitely not Diablo. Diablo. Uh, let's see. Thanks for keeping good notes, by the way. Uh, I mean, Warcraft 3 is definitely an RTS. When um, did Starcraft 1 come out? That's Way too early. RTS. Yeah, RTS. Um, what could be classified as an RPG in, a, in certain circles and not in others? Let's if it's an action whoa, RPG? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? 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 Um, I gotta wipe this smile from my face just in case. Um, 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 yeah, right? Hold on. <laughs> just in um, case. Um, is it set in the Star Wars universe? Nope. Oh, God. Well, plus, KOTOR is not an exclusive. It, when it PC. came out, it was? No. Oh, Xbox. It came out, yeah. I thought it was ported. I thought it was PC first and then ported. No, the other way around. The other way around. No, really? no it, mm-hmm. it was on both. Yeah, if I, I recall know, correctly. Okay. If memory serves. Um, Chat, tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not, though. I'm never uh, wrong. That's an RPG. Yeah, 100% RPG. I mean, I, 
Man, dude. I know. N- Man, nothing in dude. the chat ski? No, unfortunately. I mean, there. you can, I can, I mean, these will bring you closer to that, but it's not really going to be anything that's like too. That, that would nail it? Not even, I'm not even looking for one that's going to absolutely nail it. it it's just, okay, let's just pretend you didn't ask uh, if it was exclusive yet. Uh, you know, if somebody says this is exclusive, you know, they're like, yeah, okay, but that doesn't no, really. That doesn't really rule I mean, anything it, particularly. Yeah. Go like, where, like, is it set? In the future, past, it's outer space, medieval time. I mean, like, should we try to figure out where it's set? Do you play as a human? Is it third person? I mean, we haven't asked those yet. That's true. Um, Actually, that would help a, a lot, probably. Is it... Is the perspective in first person? No. Okay. Is it, like, a, is it sci-fi? Is it, like, a future sci-fi type? Nope. That's 14. So it's third person... Third person, not sci-fi. Hmm. I can't think of anything that came out during that era. Oh, dang. Somebody has a good question, but I don't know how to answer it. <laughs> I, I, I wish I wish I could answer that. I, What's the I wish I could ask, answer that accurately. What's the question? Uh, no, it's not going to. It probably won't help. Okay. No, it's not gonna help. Okay, it's not gonna help. Never mind. All right. Oh man. Okay. So, God, what else came out during that era? The first Dragon Age was on. Definitely an RPG. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Um. I mean, you were going the right path, like nailing down different gameplay mechanics. So, maybe setting. Is it? Maybe... Is it? A, is it in a fantasy era type situation? Nope. Not fantasy and not sci-fi. Present day. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty Arguably. much, pretty much. It, it it's safe to assume yes. Oof. Like, there's no confirmation of what date, but yeah, it's it's like present day. It's basically present day. Hmm. All right, that is sixteen. Okay. Getting a little close. Yeah. Because <sighs> I've got like no idea. Um. Not fantasy, not sci-fi. Could be an RPG, action RPG. At least, arguably. Hmm. PC exclusives. What the hell came out? Do you play as a human? Yes. I was hoping for no there. <laughs> I was really hoping for no, because that yeah. would have absolutely blown my mind. Um... But I feel like we could have we could have rolled that out. But right also, be careful with that one. Now that I think about it, be careful about that one. Of course. Um, PC. PC gaming. I so, I mean, swear. Okay, I'm just trying to think. In this, at that day and age, you had like, you had like, uh, what was it? Um, Somebody guessed it in chat. Nice. You had like. Uh, Somebody guessed it. Who, who, duo who guessed Ch- it? Duo Chan. Oh, Duo. I, now I That's why you got that promotion, girl. Yeah. That's why you got that promotion, girl. I have to make chat go away just so you yeah. don't see it. But yeah. Oh, no, I'm not going to look at it. So they got it. What, like, so, um. I can't even think of the name of the, the character. What what was the? Uh, I bet I played it too. I'm gonna be so mad. I don't know. Rockstar, it, but it, it, there's no way it was RPG elements to it. It was modern day. It was third person. You played as a human. It was PC exclusive. It was named after the guy. His family was killed. He was a cop. Max Payne. Yeah. I mean, oh, that was a good game. But that's, that's not. But that's RPG. not. No way. Yeah. No, yeah. No, you know, and that wasn't a PC exclusive was. anyway. Absolutely. When uh, no, it first came out. It it, was 100% PC. I thought it came out simultaneously with the PlayStation. Yeah, I, I believe so. PS2. I am yeah. 99.9. I'm, I feel pretty good. I don't know, me too. Huh. Beer bet. Beer bet? All right. All right. Hey, there I'm, it is. Beer I'm, bet. I'm pretty sure it came out yeah. on, exclusively on PC first. I'm going to get three free beers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to facts on that because I'm 99% sure. We got to wrap actually. this up, though. All so right. We're at 17. I, I'm lost. I, I'm... Somebody got it. Wow. Somebody got them. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's you want a job, That's, huh? Yeah. You want to uh, place one of our hosts? <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, I mean, Man, dude, I don't know. Um, I just what? say th- I th- I'd say throw out questions because yeah, no, like, we're we're getting there. Yeah, I know. Um, do you use a gun? No. <laughs> do you use a sword? <laughs> I don't know why you would use a sword in present day. It's it's a video game, Chris. <laughs> um, it's possible. It's a bad question though. Um. Man, 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 man. 18 questions. Two more, and then that's it. 
He plays a human sometimes. Sort maybe. of. It, it, sort of. Uh, kind of. Not kind fantasy, of not. not. Kind of sci-fi. not. Like, kind of not. How is it, like... In fact, actually, technically, when you break it down, I don't think... Well... No, oh, geez. It's, just be careful with that one. That's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> that's, all. that's all. That's all. No Good question deal. might take you in the wrong direction. It's all good, though. That's awesome. Good luck. Um, dude, like, nothing is coming to mind at all. Um, so he plays a human, maybe, sort of, kind of. Was there a question in the chat before you closed it that would have gotten us closer? Because I'm not. Uh, I know you were talking about I it. I mean, at two questions left, I don't think it would be worth it. I think you can ask a better, better question that will bring you closer to it. Mm. Man. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Duo, if you want... Just just talk to me, Duo. You know Through what? the camera. Screw it, screw it. Just talk to me. Screw it. I'm going to... If you want to take one of the questions... Yeah, why okay. not? Screw it. Uh, the question was, does your character speak? Now, bear with me, because mm. this is a good hint. Sort of. Your character speaks sort of. That gives me absolutely it, nothing. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I know this I, is one of those things because I know the game that, that this sort of is, makes sense. you know, but what, like way... this kind of can. So like focus on that. Your character kind of speaks. Kind of speaks. Hmm. One question. Daddy of them all. Uh, is Josh a douchebag? <laughs> yes. Now guess the game. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Um, good lord, dude. Yeah, I got nothing, man. Um, I was I was want to just blow the question All so right, I could get here, the answer. I want to I want to help you. I want to help you. I don't want you to fail this. I'm gonna give you a question. Oh, I don't fail, as baby. Fi- I don't as, fail. as the final question, I'm gonna give you the final question. Uh, is uh, no. Um, is the perspective isometric? Yes. Because you were focused on third person. It is not third person. It is isometric. God, I'm back to Fallout again. What? No, that's an RPG 100%. Um, wow. Is right, it that's all your questions. Yeah, isometric, huh? Isometric. Nothing? No. No. You want to give up? No. <laughs> Oh my god, man! Because like those those kinds of games came out all the time back then. Oh my god! Oh, is it The Sims? Is that your guess? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock down the green screen. Holy crap! <laughs> I am the man. <laughs> yep, it was The Sims. It uh, now okay. So you asked, do you play Woo! as a human? You play as yourself, yeah. but you're God. Oh so, my God! Like, it, so you, you it know. just hit me like a tidal wave. <laughs> Go ahead. So it is a now okay. So the discussion is: is it an RPG? Right. I don't think it is. It's not, but it has RPG elements. You level up your character. You level up their, you know, their stuff. Uh, it is a strategic life simulation series developed by Maxis in California. It's a sandbox game. Right. Um, it came out February fourth for th- uh, in two thousand. It was a Windows game, isometric, uh, published by EA. And uh, Will Wright, who developed it, also developed SimCity. Right. Got positive reviews. And Spore. Yeah. You know, what's, the, the funny thing is, is I was, I was sitting here and I was like, isometric. The only thing I can think of is SimCity. And I was like, oh my God, I got it. <laughs> Holy crap. So that's it. We are done. That was a very short episode, but you know what? Whatever. But screw it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was like, it was... Like about 15, 20 minutes shorter than we normally do. Which Maybe. is which is funny because you're always like, oh my god, we're going long. We're going so long. I don't like it when going it's long, long, brother. I like it when it's nice, short, but just packed full of information. Some nice, short packed stuff. Packed full of content. Like a, like a little chubby, you know? Yeah. Uh, so that does it for us. That's, 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 yeah, that does it for us, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you were watching live on Facebook, uh, thank you and continue to do that because we love you. Uh, also, new episodes release every Monday on iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, and Stitcher. Make sure to give us a five star review, even if you don't like us. Just give us a five star review because that helps. Uh, you can also in, see- the com- in the comments, Josh is a douchebag. Five that's stars. That's fine. That's cool. I don't mind that. Hashtag Josh is a douchebag. Mm. Uh, you can also search for us on YouTube because we don't have a URL. If you do that, though, can you just hit that little subscribe button? We need. 
like 65 more. We need 65 more subscribes, and then we can say, hey, and then find us on YouTube, youtube.com slash gaming. But we can't do that yet because we need subscribers. So Yo. please subscribe, do that stuff for us, help us out. Uh, above anything else, I mean, we, we, there's a lot of call to actions at the end of this. If you don't do any of those, that's fine. Just the YouTube thing would be fantastic. But we will hate you. I dislike you very like much. Like you sh- strong, strongly. Yeah. Yeah, hate's a strong it's word. It's not hate. We don't hate. Yeah. Embrace hate. Wait. Yeah. Hashtag no haters. No, no, no hate. I've never seen that. It's it's this, dude. It's, no, it's, it's the double tap hashtag, no, I'm dog. I'm drawing it in the air. No. Hashtag. No. Hashtag. No. All right. Hashtag Facebook.com slash Downright Fierce uh, Gaming. Hashtag Twitter at DRF Podcast. <laughs> hashtag. Hit me, uh, hit me up in the DMs. Twitch.tv uh, slash DRF Podcast. Also, if you want to buy a shirt, a hashtag shirt, I might make a couple of those for you. Uh, you can find it on Teespring.com slash Downright Fierce Gaming. We will have a storefront pretty soon that's going to have all our T-shirts. Uh, but for now, uh, you can either find them on our Facebook page or uh, teespring.com slash gaming. Also, Patreon. If you want to go on Patreon, kick us a couple bucks a month. You get all of our exclusive content one week in advance. And then, plus, we thank you at the end of the episode. So we want to thank Mark Mayfield. Thank you, Mark Hi, Mayfield. Mark. Also, we want to... Mark. Thanks, thanks dude. <laughs> That's a little delayed. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> uh, and we also... Did he get the answer to the, to the beer bet? Oh, uh, I, we'll we'll look it up afterwards. Beer bet. Um, and then we also want to thank Jeff Knight. Thank you, Jeff Knight. Happy belated birthday. Knight. Absolutely. And we also want to thank Brian Altano, even though he's probably not listening, for letting us use his music. Damon Hatfield for uh, letting us use his music, even though he probably doesn't listen. And MC Lars for being an amazing person, because he might listen. I don't know. Maybe not. But he's a really cool guy, and we're going to have that interview. I'm just going to say this every week. We're going to have that interview in October. It's in Gainesville, not Ocala. It's in Gainesville. Gaines. And it's much yeah. better. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that, and he lets us use his music. Also, we want to thank our executive producers, Brian Kaminsky and Andrew Kirkendall. Thank you guys so much. Kick off. Um, that's it. Uh, Stay classy, Duval, and other cities, not Duval. And go punch butts. We're going to go punch somebody at Rack'em Up.